guys, everyone, welcome back to Palace Pass Perfumes and Panning, and it's Phoebe here again tonight, and I have a dupe and a pout, or a pout and a dupe, um, you may be wondering what that is, so basically I'm going to tell you about the lipstick, the liquid lipstick I'm wearing tonight, which is fabulous, and I recommend it, and then I'm going to be showing you another product I recommend, which is a um, drugstore brand, it's Maybelline, However, it rivals the high-end foundations. So if you're interested in these two items and my reviews on them, keep watching. So first we'll talk about the pout. I love a pout. I love a um, liquid lipstick too. And this one is from Peachy Queen. And it is the four, I think. The four, they had um, their Y2K collection. Which I have the three lippies from that. They're fabulous. I use them all the time. And I'm not just saying that I really do. Um, use them all the time. Since I've got them. And also they have um, an eight piece collection. Four lip glosses and four liquid lipsticks. And I have here tonight the bodacious shade. Of the liquid, the four liquid lipsticks. One of them. And look how gorgeous that is. That is sort of a kind of a pink shade I don't really know maybe maybe not a salmon it's on the website it's definitely a salmony pink maybe not in the tube but it is gorgeous on the lips as you can see <laughs> just joking and um, it's called bodacious and it is just bodacious I'll open it up and give it a little swatch even though you can see I'll just give it a swatch as well be careful with the little um applicator so that is what it looks like on the hand and i just think this is gorgeous this shade it's a matte color they do have four lip glosses as well but um i'm wearing it matte tonight just on its own and i would highly recommend that color if you're wondering what i was wearing it is just fabulous i love it love it love it love it and um, peachy queen bodacious and it, it says on the box um, that it's actually cruelty free and vegan. You see there has the little bunny and the V for vegan. So that's good too. Always a plus. Um, and it says start with prep and chap lips to ensure smooth application and remove any dry or cracked skin. Next apply evenly to the top and bottom lip using short, light short strokes. If desired, finish the look with a lip liner. I haven't actually done that, but I think it's alright this way. For best results, use daily. Beautiful finish and touch, providing hydration and moisture to the lips with a hint of colour. So I think it is more than a hint of colour. It's quite vibrant, but I really, 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 really love it. And I really recommend it. If you're looking for a nice matte pink lip colour, liquid lipstick. Maybe you should give this one a go. It's only $16.99. They always have codes. Can't think of any off the top of my head now, but they always have discount codes too. So if you're looking for a nice pink liquid lip, try it out. Now, obviously, this isn't affiliated or sponsored by Peachy Queen. I'm just a big Peachy Queen fan. I like the lovely items. And they're obviously an indie sort of brand, but they're great. And so, yeah, that's the lippy or the pout so we'll move on to the dupe and it is the Maybelline New York Super Stay Active Wear 30 hour foundation in the shade let's see what shade it is True Ivory 03 now I think personally that it's a dupe or I well I think it's a dupe I don't know what you think I think it's a dupe for the NARS um natural radiant long wear finished foundation which I always rave about in the shade I use the shade Yukon but I can sadly um get myself a full size bottle of that at the moment because we live about an an hour uh, roughly an hour away from um you know anywhere that would stock it. Um, and online and look fantastic. It's all, it always seems to be out of stock and look fantastic. They have other shades of that foundation, but that one in particular always seems to be out of stock when I go to buy it. Um, so sadly, I can't get it there. And another place that stocks it is Arnott's or Brown Thomas, but they're currently out of stock too. 
So I had to kind of go to the pharmacy in Boots and get this one. But I actually find it's a dupe. It's really good foundation. Great coverage. It says 30 hour long wear. And I haven't actually tested that. I'm not sure if it does actually stay for 30 hours. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, possibly, you know, it is really good. It probably would stay on for 30 hours. But I'm not sure you should. I'd recommend that. <laughs> 30 hours is a long time it's um active wear so you know if you're exercising or out doing you know shopping or anything it will stay put i'll do a little swatch of the foundation i use it all the time now it's gorgeous kind of formula and that's my shade there so it's a blended you can see it has great coverage on the hand already yeah fabulous i blotted with my beauty blender and it's still great coverage and i figure it was around the price point is like 12 euro or 13 euro something like that maybe 12.50 um i figure if you're looking for a sort of it's great you only need a few pumps and it goes a long way for the entire face so if you want to if you're looking for a dupe for the nars natural radiant longwear foundation which is obviously a cult classic and it's brilliant and it's always been raved about by celebrities and such i think that um you know this one's a good one if you're looking for a little dupe of that if you can't if like me you can't get it at the moment your shade um why not try this one from boots or anywhere really it stocks maybelline and it is really good i can say that and attest to that that it is a good foundation and it is super stay once you put it on it doesn't budge at all it's really good so up to 30 i need my glasses for this it's very small right at the back up to 30 hour wear full coverage foundation light as air feel transfer resistant seamless matte finish and oil free so if that's helpful that's the information on the back so obviously i was a bit dubious at first because i loved the the nars one i thought that would be my favorite foundation but this one is really good and it is definitely up there with the nars um that i was tested for and i find that um the color is a really good match too for my skin i wasn't sure i thought it looked a bit pale when i saw it at first but um, Palace Palace Perfumes and Panning or Tracy recommended this shade. She said it would match, looks sort of my shade. And she was right. So, because I've been using it now regularly. And I use it all the time when I do my makeup. And it is just fabulous. So that's the dupe. I don't know if you agree with me that it's a dupe. But let me know below if you have um, used this foundation. If you think it's a dupe. If you've used both of the two foundations mentioned. If you haven't, that's okay too um but i definitely recommend if you're looking for a dupe or just a good little foundation from the drugstore and um, this one is definitely good very good for the money so i i put it on par with the nars and um, they're a good foundation they're natural radiant long wear. i'd say it's just as good and a lot cheaper so definitely recommend that one and the lippy or the pouch as we call it um so that's my little um dupe and a pout video so if you enjoyed give it a big thumbs up and we'll be back soon with more bye